Hey fam, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back, squad. Um, I know I've been MIA. Yo, I've been working and I've been like super busy. <laughs> and I've been having like massive technology issues. And I don't know what that's all about. So um, we're going to try again. And I'm going to start with the cards that I have here now. So uh, bear in mind that none of this, all of this, some of this may not resonate for everyone. Please take what you need and throw the rest out. My books are still open, even though I'm working outside of the home, mostly working in the evening. So I do have daytime appointments. Um, if you'd like to book a personal more in line with your own story right now. Um, I kind of feel like collective. Mm -hmm. I love this poised card. Okay. So the first card out we have is Yang and we have Imagine. We have Tribe in the Reverse and poise what this is giving me is that you are ready to take action and live the life that you've always dreamed of um potentially moving away from or just distancing yourself away from the people who no longer resonate for you maybe you are walking away from certain family dynamics um people that may have resonated with you as you know part of your tribe you've come to realize that maybe these people are not your people right and you're ready to take action on all the things that you have always dreamed of and you are absolutely ready you're in the perfect space perfect time like everything is lining up but you're ready to take that next step love to see it i absolutely love to see it all right what else Yeah, I don't feel like you have any desire to continue moving forward or interacting with these people who you recognize are no longer part of your tribe. You may have been really reserved um, in terms of moving forward, you may have been a little fearful. Um, there may still be some reservation about moving forward, but you're being blessed and given all of the things, like all of the things that you have tried to bring forward they're all coming to light now this blessed card also gives me um it kind of makes me think of the star card where you know the star card talks about um destined and faded events and this blessed card talks to me about random blessings that are gifted upon you um, these are things that are unearned, not that they're not deserved, but they're just unearned. You haven't done anything special. You have just been blessed. You are, and this is based on you following your heart, like following your passions and living the life and trying to stay focused and in that imaginative space of, you know, following your destiny, following your dreams, um, and if you were afraid to break out or break away from the norm or the people that you have known as your tribe, um, again, you don't really have any more desire to continue moving forward with them because you're ready for your new life. You're ready for everything that you've been trying to manifest. I love that for you. Yay, this is good. All right, what else? Ah, orphaned, time to go. Okay, so maybe this the orphaned card could definitely talk about you maybe at one point um you may have felt as though moving away from it's kind of like you recognize what your absence will bring to the table right with these people this this group of people the situation and maybe you were reluctant to move forward because you knew the impact that it could carry, but you also realize that it's time to go, right? Because you have no desire to move forward with it. And on the opposite end, somebody may be feeling left out in the cold, left behind, rejected. Um, at one point, maybe you were meant to feel rejected and alone and isolated. Um, but now it's time for you to move forward all right. Now, mending does talk about a form of reconciliation. It's not really giving me like 
the you know like the judgment card in tarot but it's more like There is a common thread between you and these people or a particular person, right? And you are being given an opportunity or you, or there may be a, a, a situation that presents itself um, where you have an, an opportunity to mend some fences. Now, reconciliation does not mean reunion. Yes, you can, you know, reconcile with somebody and... You know, because reconciliation really is about coming to terms with the situation as it is, understanding the dynamics of the situation and why it became what it did, um, and having a certain acceptance of the person, the situation, and the outcome, knowing that there's nothing you can do to change anything that's already happened in the past, but just moving forward and understanding what you're dealing with. And I do feel as though you regardless of whether you mend, reconcile, or whatever, you're still walking away from it. So let's not confuse that, okay? You're still walking away from it. All right. Yeah, you're being blessed. This exchange gifts is in the reverse. So this is just something that's, so it's not, it's not because of something that you've done. You're being, hmm, this is not something you've done, but maybe something that you may have done in the past. That's for someone. Okay. There may have also been a situation here where there's been an unequal exchange of time, energy, um, resources, um, where there was a lack of reciprocity. Um, regardless of whatever you were trying to do or try whatever you've tried to accomplish within the within the dynamic, um, this situation may have left you feeling. Um, distance distance from other people and again we're getting the same energy of like it's time to go because you're no longer willing to deal with this situation but the fork in the road kind of gives me energy of like still being a little bit on the fence about whether or not to actually take the action of of moving away from something um i think you do have foresight and and kind of seeing here's the thing this is the reason why reconciliation is not necessarily reunion. It's because, and I encourage this for everybody. I always tell people this. You don't, you can accept what people have done and how they've acted or whatever, whatever transgressions may have, have happened. You can find some type of forgiveness and acceptance and just, you know, people are who they are, right? But you also have to go into the situations because you can go into a new cycle with the same people and just go in aware of red flags so that, you know, okay, if, you, if you're going to deal with this person and you know they have a tendency to lie, they have a tendency to be this way or that way, so you're kind of aware of their red flags while keeping an open mind, right? Um, I kind of feel, I still feel like you're going to move away from it. I'm, I'm still getting the energy of, even though, you know, you may have a tendency to kind of look back and think, God, you know, if you weren't such a douche, this could have worked out. This could have been really cool. But I'm really thinking about heading out because, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel any kind of way, literally. <laughs> okay, don't. Yeah, this is coming to an end. Never ending story in the reverse. Breathe. Somebody may have, and you may have anxiety. Somebody may be anxious about it. Um, I would strongly recommend, um, grounding some type of meditative work, um, breathing exercises, go outside barefoot if you can. Yes, look at that. You're anxious about this new life. Okay, so, yeah. All right, regeneration at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. You know, this is a card about second chances or whatever in the reverse there's no second chance because 
if you do, it's just going to keep going. You're just going to keep going around and around. And I don't think that you have any desire to, to do that. Right. The, yeah. There's no change. If you go back into this, if you give this thing a second chance. Yeah. Regeneration in reverse. Round and round in the upright. A change in the wind in reverse. There's literally no change. If, there's no second chance. Because if you give this person a second chance, if you give this person another chance, I promise you, nothing would have changed. Okay, round and round, a change in the wind in the reverse by the book because somebody can't follow the rules. Somebody can't just, because it's something that they're doing. It's again in the reverse, it's something that they're doing. Okay. Somebody is ungrounded, inauthentic. Meanwhile, here you are co-creating with spirit, getting these downloads. Somebody is... Your manifestations are slowly coming in. They are coming in. Just be patient, okay? Be patient. And I'm saying that because TikTok is down here at the bottom with new life and happy, happy. So everything is coming in. It's it's falling into place, okay? Um, TikTok would imply that there's divine timing at play. So this is going to require you to kind of, like I'm looking at, at the hands and these like kind of, I don't know. It's giving me like he's throw for me. It's it's I'm getting this throwing energy, kind of like um, mm, let go and let God kind of thing, right? You're giving this time, okay? This is divine timing, and nothing happens in the timing that we want it to happen in. It happens in divine timing, not our timing. So this means you're gonna have to learn how to let it go, release it. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't figure out where we we're going with that. Release it, okay? Release the energy, release this outcome. Just know that your new life is right here. You're anxious about it, don't worry about it, okay? Everything is falling into place perfectly. Just be patient, all right? Let's jump into some Kipper and see what else we have. Mm. Well, well, so we have Thief here. Mature woman in the reverse. So we have distorted feminine um, who may be trying to or may have, okay, and we've got a distorted masculine as well. So maybe these two people are, are in cahoots with one another to steal from you or maybe they have stolen. Okay, there's a house here in reverse. So maybe this has something to do with real estate, the loss of a home. All right. And then we have a mature man in the upright. Great fortune. So maybe there was a home here. Okay, now we know this energy has come up before in other um, in other readings. So there's a thief. We have this um, distorted feminine energy, mature woman. Could be somebody's mother, grandmother, aunt, okay? Then we have a mature man in the upright. And then we have main male in the reverse. And we also have a distorted masculine here, secondary person. Um, there was a house here that somebody may have lost. There was great fortune. Maybe this woman stole the great fortune. There's a pathway being blocked or someone's trying to block a pathway. Somebody in a family room. So somebody close to you that's within your family may be trying to block your pathway or trying to block a pathway. All right distant horizon okay again okay now distant horizon kind of does talk about something happening at a distance could be some journey right so this is about you because somebody knows that you're moving away from them so maybe the tribe maybe these people are in your tribe okay that's distorted masculine distorted feminine energy and these are the people that you're moving away from that you don't have any desire to be yeah there's something illegal here with judication or there's something here that cannot be mediated. There's an issue here that's kind of going unresolved because judication in the upright talks about like sometimes mediation being necessary between two parties, like, you know, having to go to somebody, uh, a, a, a third party to kind of, um, yeah, mediate over the situation, right? And so judication in the reverse kind of talks about this is a situation that cannot be um Whatever this is, it cannot, I don't think there's any kind of resolution here. Um, there is no mediation. 
Then we have official person in the reverse. So again, somebody, this is, this could be like a dirty cop, fake, fake person, fake authority. Um, poverty in the reverse. So there's this great fortune and it's close to you. Somebody's trying to block your pathway to it. But I don't think that's going to happen because poverty is in the reverse. So somebody's coming out of poverty. So somebody close to you could be family. Again, somebody trying to block your pathway. This could even be, again, trying to block your pathway. Um, somebody trying to stop you from leaving. Someone's trying to stop you from leaving. Bottom of the deck, courthouse. Message of concern, toil and labor. Something that somebody's done. Somebody's worried about your wealth. Somebody is worried about some wealth. Oh, child. Sudden wealth, coffin, false person, gift in the reverse. Or something blocked from a child. So like an inheritance. Somebody stole, like, somebody stole a gift that was meant to go to somebody that would have created some kind of change for this person. A new start. Somebody is concerned that their work or something that they've done that may have had something to do, something legal, something's been blocked, blocked or um, I heard retrieved. What's no? That's not the word I was looking for. What is it? Intercepted. Like maybe something was intercepted. sudden well but somebody died something came to an end and there's sudden weather but you have a false person and a gift like a stolen gift stolen gift meant for a child or meant to be able because the child doesn't necessarily mean an actual child it can just be like starting something new you know the new something new that you would birth or create or nurture that would implant implement change. <sighs> okay. I don't know why that just stressed me out. Okay. Snake. Didn't I say every time this mature woman jumps out, snake comes out too, right? Regardless if it was in the reverse. I think I feel like this is being revealed. This is being revealed. Damn, flying cards. Stars, feeling connected, psychic, inspired, lucky expansion. Yeah, you're connected to spirit, so you're you're following you're following where you're supposed to go. Man in the reverse, distorted. There's somebody here in this distorted energy. They don't think they're not the brightest person. I feel like they're very illogical, kind of an emotional person. Cross, sadness, grief, suffering, karmic events, loss and pain, but it's in the reverse. I don't think that this is a loss for you. This was a karmic event, yes, but I don't feel like you walking away from it is a loss for you. It's not a loss for you. People trying to fuck with you, it might be a loss for them, not for you. heart any and all love new love romance passion and care so you may have a, a new connection coming in or the regeneration of a cycle um photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories i don't know why my dog is barking Oh, okay. 
So we have hammer in the reverse, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, and repetitive persistence. So something is coming to an end. It's in the reverse. Camera also in the reverse, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. So I'm literally, I feel like maybe some of you may have even gotten rid of. <laughs> there's like no reminiscing here because there's not fond, there's no fond memories. There's a situation here. It doesn't leave you with fond memories. Kind of gives me six and six of cups in reverse. It doesn't give you the warm fuzzies. Yeah, you remember it as being something from your past that may not have been a very positive, you know, situation or, um, you know, it doesn't leave a, a, the best taste in your mouth, we'll say. Um, then we have girl talk in the reverse. So you could have some gossipy broads around you, people gossiping. Um, Somebody's unable to move on. Somebody's stuck in the past. And then we have coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendships. So you may have new friendships coming in, um, meeting over coffee, um, savoring moments. We like it. All right. All right. We have broken heart in the reverse with attachment. So somebody may be healing. But then we also have somebody here who may be still attached to maybe a false, um, a false persona, right? Um, this kind of feels like somebody who, mm, okay, so this kind of feels like somebody who may, okay, so here's the healing, right? I don't know if this could be for one person, this could be for five people, this could be for a whole bunch of people. I'm talking to somebody here who may be using this the pain from their past. Um, it's kind of like the mask that they wear as their identity, like somebody identifying as their pain, whatever they went through like they use that as their whole their whole identity. For me again, this is giving me somebody who's kind of stuck um also in the past. Got us to the moon in the reverse. Somebody um definitely this gives me like um false prophet energy. Caring connections. Yeah, this connection is over. You don't care about it or there's a connection here that's come to an end. Okay, then we have door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. So this person who may be stuck in the past and maybe blocked off from healing because they're not healed. They're still, again, what did I say? I said somebody's attached to their, their past, right? Their past hurts and wounds and they've made it their identity, right? But that's not really who they are. And because they're not operating in their authenticity, their door to personal healing and happiness has kind of been blocked off. Somebody is not balanced with the angel of balance in reverse and yin yang and also in the reverse. We have somebody here, false prophet, somebody who's not using their intuition or is not in touch with their intuition or intuitive gifts. Um, they're un they're imba imbalanced. Somebody's suffering from financial constraints. Yeah. The garden and the gate in the reverse. Somebody is, is here's the thing. Somebody's being divinely guided away from a situation or guided, move, guide, being guided to move out of their comfort zone in order to seek expansion. But this person, when they're on this side of the gate, they're afraid to move forward. Somebody may not have expected you to just walk through the gate. And now that you have, or you will, because I don't know the timing on this, um, it puts someone very, very, very um, off center. Okay. okay. Door to value. Somebody didn't may not have seen your value before. They're thinking about it now. They're thinking about it now. Because once you're gone, that absence is felt. Rest and rejuvenate. 
this is what this person needs to do. Yeah, we got somebody here completely unaware, lack any kind of higher vision or sight or gifts or any of that. Lack of awareness. All tied up. Unable to do anything, go anywhere. And here you are just over here minding your business. You, It's totally opposite energy. Over here, we've got somebody who's completely just out, all out of whack emotionally, not balanced. Rest and rejuvenate and hostilities in reverse. Like, you're cool. You're cool as a cucumber. Mind your business. Somebody is blocked to the door, blocked from the door to spirit. And here you are thriving on your journey and making money closing out cycles people are blocked the people that are trying to follow you but follow behind you they're blocked they can't come with you where you're going because they were trying to manipulate and all of their adjacent there are no possibilities there are no other options they don't have options their options are dried up their plans have failed fake ass healer not gonna see this coming not gonna see this coming all right Get some index cards. Anxiety, sleepless nights, alcoholism, loss of money or assets. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have Empress energy here on the board. Now, man could be operating in their Empress energy as well if you're in, their, in a creative space. You are protected. You're God's chosen one. And I can tell you, just, just knowing that you're protected and you're God's chosen one, that alone will have people really pissed off. All right, we have word magic. Illness is part of their karma. So if you know somebody who's sick, who might be sick, just pay attention to that. Just saying. This is a blessing in disguise. Maybe you were the blessing in disguise and somebody mistreated you and then now they lost you. So they, that was the blessing in disguise. Getting over heartache. So you're healing. Somebody has a fear of moving forward. Somebody has been unfaithful and non-committal. Somebody says, why doesn't it work on you? And somebody is in deep regret. All right. More. Dang, that's a lot. This one. No, I'm not taking all of those. <laughs> I'm not taking all of those. I'll take those. That's a lot. Like I wanted to get a good healthy amount of cards here, but I didn't want to take half the damn deck. All right. All right, so we have Arrow. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yay, we like it. Horse, short journey. So there may be some travel coming up for you. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Mm, scissors, disappointment in some affair. Coins, money will be coming to you. I heard that. Mule, someone is being extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. I said that somebody's stuck in the past. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Scales, keep your life in balance, because definitely there's somebody here who's not balanced. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. Okay, pay attention to what you're doing. Teardrops, great personal sorrow, cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. So somebody here is very unhappy with their life. Legs, stepping into a new experience. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Cane, pay attention to your health. Well, family wishes come true. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. 
And finally, bat. Take care. Enemies are working against you. And they always are. Stay prayed up, all right, y'all? Anywho, I'm going to leave it there. If any parts of this reading resonated for you, gave you clarity on your own situation, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of my information can be found below in the description box. My books are always open, all right? I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, weekend, and or year. And until next time, I love you. Take care.